with the recent update of chat gpt4 data analysis is never going to be the same again i've just recently got my hands on the chat gpt4 they have introduced something called as gpts which is going to change how we do things which means if you're a non-coder you also can build applications on top of gpt and release it and yes monetize it too that too without coding so we're going to look at some of the first hand reviews of what are the updates and i'm going to look at it from the perspective of data analysis and how it's going to change so data aspirants if you're looking at this video you need to pick up this skill immediately because companies are going to start adopting this particular technologies even faster and you're going to get left out or be unskilled remember the person using ai will replace the person who is not using it so with that let's get started with what are the features that we have within chat gpt4 and let's look at the launch so i have with me chat gpt4 can now browse the web analyze data and generate images these capabilities are now built into gpt4 no need to select them available for all plus users now i'm speaking about gpt4 which is a paid subscription for pro users now i have a pro user subscription i've been using it for a while previously i had to select five options to be able to do the task but now i can just simply do all of those tasks within one particular selection so let's see at the first update and there are also a couple of other updates that are available which is the introduction of gpts browsing browsing is no longer beta then dali is rolling out in beta that is three basically there is a browser is rolling back to plus users new voice and image capabilities and so many other different capabilities came in but this one introducing gpts is the biggest one so let's see what we have in store for us i'm going to just say get started and if you look at this option you will typically have the free version which is for the everyday task which is what most users will have and this is itself is lot more big and then you also have chat gpt4 which is rolling up everything within it and uh, it's no longer only till like 2021 data it's also upgraded to let's say april 2023 and so you have latest and update data on this particular one so it's a massive update but let's just look at what we have in store for us here so which means now dali browsing and analysis is directly available here and you can also attach documents if you want to so we'll like attach some documents and see if what can be possible out of it now, apart from that if you also expand the window in the side word you will see that that is chat gpt now you also have like gpts which are sort of like applications within an operating system or a mobile so you can consider like ios that ios has multiple application now you can imagine that ios is chat gpt4 and the multiple applications that you can personally develop within that so that's one of the things that we that you will see and you can just say get started and now dali enhanced by copy whatever it is let's look at that so now this is the dali image where i can create some image right so create a image of a person bring a cap that says dsm and is in front of a crowd so let's see if it can create that now it can generate certain images it will be able to do that but as you can see it's able to do so so many of those uh, tasks much more better now so this is what gpts are and then basically you can click on explore and be able to sort of explore different different gpts not only that you can create your own gpts and also explain that so that's one of the parts. Let's see if that image comes up. Yeah, it's, uh, it says EMS, but I want it to DSM. DSM. Anyways, it has gotten the thing and as you can see, it's gotten it very nicely. Uh, but so you can explore a lot of lot more GPTs. Some of them are for data analysis and all of that. Or you can just choose to create your own GPT. So I'm just going to go to the data analysis once and see what in we can do. Right. So drop in files and then it can analyze and visualize data for you. So I can simply go here and say attach and I'm just going to say maybe let's say the hard data. I'm just going to attach it here and I'm going to say hard.csv like this. Can you build 
ml model to predict heart disease disease and if we can do that let's see the feel of the interface is a lot more different so it's going to analyze that it's hopefully writing a code that's why it will write a code it's finishing the setup getting in the columns that is required so it's basically giving us uh, an idea about what the columns are and what steps it's going to do so it's pretty much understanding all the steps that will definitely take time for anybody to learn and do that and it's now just doing it with a click of a button right so you set the intention it's automatically going to understand it and it's going to do it right so it's that good of a concept so it's like having an assistant who is doing the work and you just got to sit back and relax okay so it has gotten the confusion matrix it's given the data and as you can see at every step it has gotten some information that you can look at and click and understand what code he's writing right so it's it's that easy it's like having an assistant who can show you the code and all of that to get the results which is pretty good and very impressive i'm impressed off with with the kind of explanation with a very simple prompt also it's able to do that so the, this test is really really good now there are some other ones that we can check out so if you can click on explore you'll see like the classic the negotiator creative writing coach so a lot of other things that are available what i right right now want to do is just go ahead and see if we can create our own chat gpt so i'm just going to put in there and uh, i'm just going to say ki you know i'm just want to build an application for resume you know scoring so i'm just going to upload a resume and then i want to get it scored based on the objectives so let's say I'm going to say I want to build a resume ch checker that can read a PDF and Word resume and then provide scores for each section and also provide recommendation to ensure the score is high. So it's going to do that. Next, I also want it to ensure that it matches the job description provided by the user and let's say enter so now it's going to work and start building a resume checker and we can simply also try to keep this around maybe data analysis and not do it for everybody so that way it's much more tighter right so let's see if it is yeah let's see can we limit this to the field of data science machine learning and ai and generative ai so we are just going to li limit this to that say enter right then it's going to basically read the resume and it's going to understand how far i am off the job description or not and give me recommendations okay so i need to find a resume for this let's see if i can find some resume okay the resume advisor so it's going to create the profile picture also let me see yeah that looks good rename so let's say rename the gpt2 data science resume advisor resume co-pilot i just wanted to have that data science resume co-pilot this is good okay so providing feedback should be strictly professional friendly and encouraging so yes that's right we want to give that part of it and i want to encourage people to do more projects so the recommendation i want to add is that if there's something missing do a project right and so that's one of the enhances that I want to do. Let's see. It's updating the builder and let's see. I would want to recommend projects with the highest ability so as to ensure they perform very well in interview. Yeah, so there is something like that. So we can basically, it's saying that smart approach help users to shine in the interview. Is there anything that you need to refine, refine in this? Always review the project points to in the google x y z format to show business impact always so basically what happens in a data science project is that the bullet points that you write need to be in the google x y z format so if that is not there then the business impact is not visible right so let's see i don't think so it's getting the impact of it so let's see if i can find google x y z format 
and if you can train that then it will be something like that copy that and i'm going to put that there so i'm going to give the google xyz format to ensure that whatever is written there it's based on this particular for format and so you get more points and more better stuff to be able to do that okay so let's look at that okay so this is good enough we have refined it uh, already enough we can refine this much more and then yes so let's say yes and so we are moving into the launch phase now let's see if that can be possible and hopefully it should be able to do it much more quickly and just let me that today that's it okay so we're going to just say make it public i'm going to say confirm and then we have launched this data science resume copilot and it's called buy and live yourself here because that's the brand name that I'm looking for, that's there. And so it's available for everybody. So I'm just going to take this, maybe copy this link and then I can basically go to an incognito mode and let's see how this is going to work out. So this is a presence resume, sign up to chat and it's going to come here and it requires chat GPT plus. So only plus users can be able to use this, right? So it's launched and uh, we can start using it. So I can test it here. So let's test if this is working or not. So I have one resume of mine. So I'm just going to put that here. Let's see. And this is uh, a resume for data science training, coaching, all of that. So let's see what score it's going to give. And I gave the resume. Hopefully it scores a lot more better than anybody else. And so it's finding out the part of it and then it's giving me recommendations also on that, which is really good. It's using the Google XYZ to start rising, writing the, yeah, so it's rewriting all the thing to the Google XYZ format, which is really good. And we can further tune this to be able to doing something much more amazing. But um, as you can see, it's giving a good result and uh, we now can create chat GPT, but you have to pay the subscription to be able to create it. Right? Then there is a chat GPT. Again, it has all the things that it, that we can possibly think of. And so you've seen the demo. Uh, what I want to do right now is go ahead and join my free community, which is the data science transition hub, where I'm going to post more videos such as this in a much more private community where uh, I get to share even much more detailed and you can get upskilled there. So just go ahead, join that community. I place that link in the community sec in the description section below and I'll see you there. And my mission is to ensure that you get a high paying job in the field of data science.